Well, we almost had another one of those top ten teams losing. Yeah. It came within one play. And, Jesse, it really was. I think we watched two football games today. The first half where South Carolina dominated. The second half where they hung on by their nails. Yeah, sure. You know, it really was a tale of two different halves. And it started in the first half for South Carolina with Chris Smelly playing so well and so efficiently. He was 13 of 17 with three touchdowns in that first half. He was playing in rhythm, playing within the system. Like doing everything fundamentally that he's coached by Steve Spurrier, and they look great. 21 points coming out of the break, but all of a sudden in the second half, everything starts shutting down, slowing down. They only ran 23 plays in the second half. 16 of those plays were runs. Coach Spurrier was really trying to keep this thing close to the vest, and you look at the numbers here. The numbers in the first half, 220 yards compared to only 62 yards in the second half. North Carolina's defense was able to bow up, get better against the run. And it wasn't the same offense we saw in that first half, no question. Not even close. And as Butch Davis addresses his team right now in that North Carolina locker room, I've got to believe, as upbeat and positive a guy as he is, he's got to feel this one got away. You look at the mistakes that North Carolina made from the first quarter right to the very end when the Hail Mary pass didn't even make it all the way to the end zone. So many little and big mistakes may have cost the Tar Heels this game. I think there's just so many examples in this football game of a young, inexperienced football team not knowing how to close out and win football games. And whether it's a missed block punt opportunity, it's an interception early in South Carolina's end by T.J. Yates, it's a drop touchdown pass in the corner of an end zone, a missed field goal, a missed extra point, or throwing the Hail Mary ball down to the one-yard line, not giving your guys a chance. I think those are all examples of a young, inexperienced football team, and we saw it today. Yeah, this was really an escape for South Carolina. You saw their second half numbers. They gave up 398 yards. That's the most allowed by one of the best defenses in the country this season.